So welcome, guys. I am very excited about this topic tonight, and I think you all will be too, as we have a lot of information to share. And I feel like this is a, a really big topic, and you guys will see why here as I start to talk here of all the things that, you know, we kind of have uh, correlated with healthy weight that there's a lot of avenues that we can dive into for this topic. So I am going to be covering, guys, a lot of information here. And one of my goals as we're walking through this is to have information that's available to you guys that you can come back to, that you can use bits and pieces to help you, help your family, help others. And remember, take screenshots. You see something you want to remember. But one of the things that we really want to do is help to solve mysteries and problems of areas that we may be neglecting that could be a piece of healthy weight and of health in general. And that has been my focus for really helping people for, it's kind of um, sad to think of this, but almost 30 years now in educating people in ways that they can look at getting over the frustrations, trying to figure out where their problems are with their health and teaching people to become an advocate. And I believe that that is 100% what we all need to be doing more of and getting people educated. So my name is Amanda Villarreal. If you guys don't know a whole lot about me, I live in Zealand here. We have five kids, ages 18 down to five, and we are a very busy family. And part of what I also like to teach people is giving people options that can be incorporated, not just for you, but like I was saying, that, that can affect other people. So healthy weight, guys, is, is just one area of wellness. And I really want you just kind of be thinking about this as we're walking through this of some things that, you know, could possibly be sharing and implementing for yourselves here. So one of the things, guys, that we do with our business is obviously help people. And we also, you know, have had this business now for several generations that we will now hand it down to our kids. And I love the fact that the philosophy has stayed the same. We educate people guys on tools they have available that can really help, especially guys using statistics. And that's what this first slide is here that I wanted to show you guys is looking at statistics. Now, today, it is very scary of all of the weight loss drugs that are available. And I want to get, give you guys just a little bit of insight into what are some of the newest options for weight loss. They are getting to be much more potent, but injectables are actually becoming the most popular form of weight control. And injectables, the thing that's very scary about them are the side effects. So what do they do? Ideally, they suppress appetite. But the side effects, guys, are scary. The fact that it's being linked to several cancers, uh, it can actually cause, you know, several things that are uncomfortable, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting. But the scariest thing about this, I find, yes, cancer risk is probably the scariest. But the next part is looking at the long-term focus of what these do. There is no quick fix for weight loss. What happens when you stop something like these injectables? The same thing that we have found year after year with any new trend, any new pill, anything that becomes available for weight loss is what happens as soon as you stop. Generally, people gain more weight after than what they were initially trying to lose. And, and this is what I believe we have to get back to focusing on is now, how can we create this effect in people without those side effects? And I want you to just look on the screen here. And I am, again, big on helping people to see how many things in our health that are preventable and what we can work on, guys. And you might think, how in the world does this relate to weight loss? It does 100%. If we're looking at fast food, we're looking at, you know, the ingredients in our food today, if we're looking at the lack of fruits and vegetables. But look at those first three. How much, you know, prevention we can do for ourselves, guys. And so much of this comes from learning how we can get less exposure to toxins, that we can improve the quality of nutrients that we get in our bodies. And our goal is to prevent malfunctioning of our cells in our bodies. So I think this is, you know, very important topic that, again, we just, I don't feel like we share enough of. And this is part, in fact, that so many times we ignore symptoms that we think are just part of everyday living. Now, if you guys are looking at the screen here, a lot of these things you might think, yeah, no big deal. This is something I live with every day. But if you read there, four out of people in the U.S. have some sort of disease. 
A lot of times they can't necessarily diagnose it. But when you start to notice these symptoms, it's the first cause of something going on in your body. They're not just symptoms, guys. It's a link to something that could start to go wrong later. So don't ignore these things. We want to be noting that, you know, disease is not caused by a shortage of medications. Okay. We need to learn how to build up nutrition so we don't have to deal with all of these things that we think are just a normal part of living. We need to put the pieces together, guys, to help solve those problems. I'm going to give an example today really fast because this just happened earlier. Our son Mason, who's 18, he doesn't know I'm sharing this, but he has been having some headaches and he had, you know, come home and said, you know, Hey, I have a headache again. I don't really want to take ibuprofen. And, you know, I said, okay, well, how's your hydration been? How's your sleeping been? How's your diet been? You know, all of the things that I think sometimes we don't ask the questions of how we could possibly solve the problem without having to jump to measures of, okay, now we have to go to the doctor and now we have to have a bunch of tests done and then we're going to be on some medication, you know, that we can start to learn ways that we can learn to listen to our body as the first step. So just want to be thinking of this guys. And, and one of the things that we were talking about diets and products, guys, this screen here, I wanted to get back to this. This is an old one that I used to talk about a lot and I kind of got away from sharing it. And I feel like it is, it's something that I want to bring back again because of the use of so many, it doesn't matter what the supplements used for. If it's weight loss, is it for energy? Is it for sleeping? Is it for dieting? Look at the types of supplements that are available today. Now, 90% of the vitamins, I'm going to repeat that guys. 90% of the vitamins that we find in the stores today are synthetic. That very first, very first block there, that that means basically they are filled with synthetic ingredients like baby powders that are binders and shellac that are fillers. We have things in there that is similar to, if you see that picture there, that would be like one of those wax lemons that sits on a table that looks real, but there's absolutely no good live nutrients in that specific vitamin. Now we get into natural extracts. These are going to be your health food stores. These are like your whole foods, your sprouts. If you're familiar with sprouts, you know, they basically, if you look at what they do is they take a fruit, for example, that's how they call it natural. They take an orange and they extract the nutrients, but here's the problem is they use heat and that kills the nutrients that are live. So they might be able to use the claim natural because there's about 15% of the ingredients there that are natural, but what else is going in that is the scary part. And this would be similar to, if you look at that real lemon, ever seen that before guys, that's the juice that's in a lemon that, oh yeah, it tastes like lemon, right? But it doesn't have the same nutrients as getting back to what we're getting into that bottom one, which is natural guys. This is real. This is what we want to do more of. I don't care if it's a supplement or it's a food. We want to focus on getting whole food focused and supplements. This is why we'll get into kind of going of a quick overview of why we choose Shackley, but this is the focus is that we keep all of the live nutrients intact, which helps to feed our cells. And if you guys remember, we were talking about malfunctioning cells, that in order to eliminate diseases, we need to be focusing on getting those cells functioning optimally. Now, I just took this picture, guys. Again, this is one that um, I haven't shared this one in a while. And I find this to be extremely beneficial to share a vitamin that people know of. This is not necessarily a weight loss, but it's example of a synthetic vitamin. Centrum Silver, one of the most popular doctor recommended supplements. Now, this is because a lot of times doctors aren't always educated when it comes to supplements and nutrition. Okay. So if we look at what happens, this was over three days that the Centrum Silver was shown how it broke down an x-ray. If you've ever seen something like this, great. If you haven't, I felt this was very eye-opening the first time I saw this, but you can see taking it, this was, you know, um, taking it the day before what happened, it continued to not break down on the second day. And the third day basically it got stuck. And this is very scary that those synthetic vitamins can bind in your body and actually not break down or they come out whole. And if you guys have ever talked to people that own, this is kind of maybe too much information, but something, you know, like um, I've had several people when I've shared this before, give some stories, one uh, incorporated 
porta potties that that was his job. And he would say that all the time that they would actually find floating on the top of the surfaces are vitamins. They don't break down a lot of times, guys. So this is important when we're looking at if you're taking pills for weight loss, if you're taking pills in any regards, that we know what they are being used for. So again, I thought that was very eye opening. So all right, guys, let's get into looking at what we are seeing today. Now let's kind of break down here really fast. What does it mean to be overweight? Overweight is the zero to 30 pounds over what we consider to be healthy. Now, every one of us is going to be, you know, a different targeted weight. I personally, as a trainer and a nutritionist and someone that's worked with a lot of people with weight throughout the years, I'm not a fan of BMI. I tend to say BMI doesn't take into account your muscle mass and other important factors. So if you just look at what overweight means, you know, generally it's just that weight range that you're a little bit unhealthy, but here is the scary part is looking at obesity rates, guys. Since 1960, the rates have continued to increase at a very drastic pace. If you follow the line here and you see this graph, how much it continues to move on a steady incline, they say that now 40% of the U.S. population is obese. And this is a very scary fact when we start to learn what that weight is doing to our bodies over time, that this is a huge concern. And the other part of this is that because we're seeing those obesity rates so high, I have heard it promoted that we are getting healthier because overweight is going down, but that's because the increase in obesity is so great. So sometimes we have to watch some of the statistics we hear and just know guys that there is a lot we can do to put some focus back on us. You know, I do find that there are a lot of things that we can blame for why we carry weight here or why, you know, a, a, at a certain time of your life, you suddenly gained a bunch of weight. And sometimes there are definitely reasons, but it can't, you can't blame genetics. This is the first one I wanted to touch on. Genetics have not changed, guys. Genetics have been the same. There's no mutation in genes that is correlated with weight gain, but your genes can put you at a greater risk. So it is kind of interesting to note that if it runs in your family, it is going to be something you're going to have to be more proactive on focusing on. But we also want to look at what are the other factors now that can play a part into, you know, over time, why we gain weight. There's so many of them, but I just want to kind of highlight a few of them. One of them is an increase in our calories. Now, that should be pretty obvious for many of us. We realize that we are eating more, our portion sizes are bigger, and many foods are very caloric dense. And that's because they're high in sugar and calories. So this is where when we get into talking more about whole foods, this is extremely important for weight loss, guys. And, and more of this increased calorie intake often ties into processed food. So what are you eating in processed foods? That means the fiber is generally taken out. It has a higher contaminant level. And then that means it affects your gut and it affects your microflora, which is that connection between your brain and your gut. And that affects your metabolism. So when we're finding we're getting more weight around the belly, a lot of that is correlated with that gut brain connection piece. So we do need to be thinking about the chemicals in the foods we are eating. Now, also, we're finding today that, unfortunately, we have a decreased energy expenditure. Like many of us right now, we're sitting, right? That is something we are seeing more and more of. A lot of the jobs today are sedentary. So we've got to start thinking how we can reverse some of these things. Another key component, guys, of what we're finding, medications. This is something you don't hear doctors mention often is how medications can actually cause an increase in weight. Now, especially when you start to combine medications, all right? So sometimes you can read the side effects in medications and with one, you might not notice it, but what happens when you combine two medications or three or four? Is there any research showing that that affects weight? Absolutely not. So medications need to also be something we take into account when looking at weight gain. Sleeping, another extremely important area to focus on guys. Now sleeping causes 100% an increased risk of weight gain, why? because it's harder to eat sensibly. We're gonna make poor choices when we're not sleeping well. We eat more often. We're not really listening to our hunger signs. And then our sleep quality relates to that, guys. So figuring out some ways that you can start to sleep better is going to be extremely important. Now, this is one that I wanted to spend a little bit more time on. Now, environmental chemicals. 
Now, when we get into hormones and we talk about metabolism, there are several areas that we can look at, but environmental chemicals are a huge one. Now, I was listening to a recent study that actually had done some blood test, and this was a pretty you know, thorough study that they found that in this, this recent study that over 90% of the people that were tested had bisphenol A in their bloodstream. What's bisphenol A? It's found in your plastic water bottles. It's found in the insides of your linings of cans. The point is that these chemicals are being used so much more today, and they are really hard to sometimes realize the effects of them because it's not stated on anything to let us know what it's doing. In some other testing, phthalates, which are found in a lot of your skincare products, a lot of the lotions in your food packaging, 100% of the people that were tested had amounts of phthalates in their system. So think about the things that are also going around around us, guys. This ties in with your cleaning products. This is scary because the amount of chemicals are continuing to be less and less tested. This is very interesting. There are 1,300 chemicals in skincare products that have been banned in Europe since 2013. And if anybody wants to try to get a guess here, feel free to. But guess how many the United States has banned since 2013? And these are chemicals we know are very bad for us. Any guesses? Europe is 1,300. The United States is 11. This is, again, something that should be very eye-opening to us because those chemicals, guys, not only affect our weight, but it also affects reproductive health that can affect our metabolic systems. So some of these changes we see, we don't necessarily understand where they're coming from. It can also damage our brains. So we want to be thinking, guys, a big picture of all of these things that we could possibly look at to help us know why aren't things working properly? What can we do to change some of this? Now, I also want to highlight, guys, when we look at you know this, this next slide here and talking about dieting, though, I also want to highlight the lack of nutrients in our food today. Okay, We talked about that a little bit, but just to kind of give you an example of why lack of nutrients in food can also be related to weight gain, because if we're not getting the amount of nutrients we need, our body's pulling from other places. It's going to store fat. And Food today, this is again a perfect example. It takes today, in the recent study, 31 conventional tomatoes to have the same amounts of nutrients as found in one organic tomato. 52 conventional pears, okay, have the same nutrient value as one organic. Why? Because those pesticides, the herbicides, the things that they're using in our soil are taking away from nutrients. And that means that our body can oftentimes be affected in different ways and negatively be creating these effects that is different for everyone. So we want to start to understand, guys, there is no magic pill. I can't give you one solution, but I want to give you lots of things to think about. Dieting is not the answer. Dieting every single time is going to cause this cycle. You see over here on the right, guys, it creates a decrease in calories, creates a feast or famine response. What happens when we fall off from that? We start to go into the feast response, which is we eat more calories again, which causes us to gain the weight back, if not more, and it messes with our metabolism. This is the dieting cycle. And this is something we need to be careful of because it also pulls from our muscle mass. Mm -hmm. And this is why we 100% need to stay away from dieting. And number two fact of why we don't want to diet is because it's going to affect your metabolism. We want to be losing the right kind of weight, guys. We want to stay at a healthy weight. And this means we want to focus on preserving muscle, but losing fat, all right? A higher metabolism means that you burn more calories at rest. And this is a great picture example of how sometimes when we look at weight, it's not a true reflection of how we look. You see there, the two women at 150 pounds, if you have more muscle, you can look like a totally different person compared to having more body fat at the same weight. So this is why we're getting into understanding more why we are putting more emphasis on weight training on using weights. That's a, a very important part now of helping us to maintain muscle mass is increasing, especially guys, we're finding after menopause that adding more weights into your program can really help with your metabolism, helping with weight gain, helping with 
balancing your hormones. So I want to encourage you guys. We'll talk about exercise here in a second, but also looking at our foods, guys, clean eating. All right. So think about the things that are more important to buy organic and the things that are not. Okay. There's a whole dirty dozen. If you want to look that up, feel free to of foods that are most important to buy organic, but we want to start to think about making choices, guys. When you're shopping, perimeter of the store is ideal. As soon as you get inside the aisles, you're going to find more processed foods. But get back to real foods. This is, again, a great little clean eating tip guide that we can help to give us some ideas and suggestions of, you know, what are things that we want to start incorporating into our cooking in our daily lives? Now, if you were to look at your plate, this is what we'd love to see, guys. Unlimited vegetables at any time. Fill at least half your plate with vegetables, different colors, ideally. Pick a healthy fat. Here's a great example of what we want for dressing. We want to see olive oils. We want to see healthy fats as a base. Avocados, excellent. Have some grains in there, whole grains, not simple grains that are highly processed. And then your protein choices. Again, perfect example, guys, of what we want to see more of for a healthy weight focus. Now, we are really not trying to on how to make substitutions. So I am not an all or nothing example of what I teach because I don't feel like that is true. I don't feel like you can tell yourself, I'm never going to have pizza again. I'm never going to have cake again. We want to learn healthy substitutions and also balance. All right. Some of you guys I know, uh, and there's um, one person that's not on here tonight, but some of you had some different food allergies. You have different restrictions and things that that's different than making substitutions because of health. All right. So here are perfect examples of, you know, instead of vegetable oil, get out those trans fats, guys, stay away from the canola oils. The things that we are finding are highly inflammatory. Oftentimes that's going to create a response to hold more belly fat. We want to be doing things that are more whole focused that are going to break down. And again, these are perfect examples, guys, of some options. So again, feel free to take a screenshot of that. Now, why is it that we incorporate, you know, Shackley into a lot of what we do for helping people with healthy weight? Here's a great example, guys, because I feel like, you know, sometimes we don't really understand what we're doing with supplements, what we're taking, how is it helping us? Here are a few things we really want to make sure of. Same goes with food. We are trying to eliminate contaminants. We're trying to eliminate pesticides. How do we know that? From testing. So if you guys see on there, the first little thing says safe. Okay, this is by far the highest standards I've ever seen for any food or supplement that is available is the amount of testing that is done from Shackley. And that's why I felt comfortable using and taking Shackley for all the years that we have and our family has, because I also know it's proven. Now, I just recently heard the other day that the, the closest competitor to Shackley only has on their most popular product seven clinical studies. We have over 110. That means these are the top-notch, third-party, blind, double placebo. Nothing is going to be even comparable to what you can find for studies. And the fact, too, guys, this goes above organic standards. So when we're looking at trying to make options healthier and filling our body with nutrients, we want to make sure we look at what we specifically need. And that's why I'm a big fan of this something it's called Meology. They've taken their history of 67 years and have put it into this latest and greatest option for helping us to determine our needs. And that is called Meology. I encourage you guys to reach out for that assessment. Um, I really do believe it's helpful. You can choose your price range. You can choose your goals. You can pick, you know, what your specific health needs are, and it can help put a plan together for you. And this month with the code Meology20, you can get 20% off. Now that's also for Meology kids and for prenatal Meology along with the adult Meology. All right, guys. Now, another thing that I find really helpful for people wanting to jumpstart weight loss is doing a cleanse. Now, I was hoping, unfortunately, I don't see her. And I, I hope I didn't miss her. She jumped up. But uh, she just finished the cleanse on Sunday. And I was going to have to share a little bit. But um, this client has some really big goals. She needs to lose about 100 pounds. And she has been using this cleanse periodically to help jumpstart. Now, the great thing is she's already down 75 pounds, guys. That's a huge biomarker and I'm super excited for her, but she just did this cleanse and, you know, it helped her get down another eight pounds. Now we don't do this every month, okay? The cleanse is something we do maybe every four to six months, but why is it great for weight loss? Because it helps to get you back in the focus of what you should be eating more of, fruits and vegetables, resetting your body, and also resetting your cravings and your habits. So if you're looking for something that you're like, I really want to start 
with a jump start. I would love for you to learn more about this cleanse, and I'm happy to explain more. But as we get into that next step, what do we do after a cleanse? Okay, we're trying to focus more on whole foods. We're getting into understanding, all right, we want as much nutrients in our body as we can. That's also why we encourage supplementing because we're trying to help fill in the gaps of our diet. But weight loss, guys, is it's not just about body fat, all right? Um, we want to make sure that we know that muscle loss slows your metabolism down. So we need to make sure we are keeping our muscle. This is why I encourage you to make sure you keep strength training. But there are a lot of people out there that really like to have a program. So I'm just going to share with you really quickly what the Shackley Turnaround program is, because I do feel like it gives some people that like to have an exact program and option. I like to encourage people to do it more with food, but I do find some people really need a set structured option to help them get going. And the perk of that is guys, is it kind of creates the concept of understanding what portion control is, helps to kind of create a guardrail to help keep you in check. I'm not ever big on counting calories or calorie restriction, but it does help you initially to create a structured program that's higher in protein, higher in leucine, which is gonna help us to keep the muscle and in turn can really help with creating that long-term effect, which is what we wanna see here. And I'm just gonna kind of show you guys I'm big on studies. This was one study that was done on the turnaround, which there's actually a lot of them. But I really like the measurements that kind of showcases that when we are keeping muscle but losing fat, one of the first measurements that we want to see go down is your waist circumference. So if you're noticing guys, as you're getting older, you're gaining more and more belly fat. Those are big precursors for health, right? So we need to figure out how we can get that waist measurement in particular to go down. And actually in women, your hips can also be a big part in, in health indicators. So we want to see body fat going down. And this is why I'm not a big fan of scales because that can't always tell you body fat decreases. So try to figure out things that we can do to help with, again, muscle gain, fat loss. But we also see part of this goes in with the study that was done that, if I know this text is really small on here, guys, but this was a great study that showed what happened when you combine diet and exercise, that that is optimal for making sure that we have long-term success and making sure that we keep the health indicators from blood pressure, it talks about hip circumference, it talks about waist circumference, that it keeps in check the full picture. So again, guys, diet and exercise. And this is what we really want to concentrate on, building lean muscle, losing fat, supporting your metabolism, helping us to get options that are also simple. And that's why I'm, I talk about Life Shakes a lot, because I'm a big fan of them. I feel like it's a healthy fast food that people need today because we are so darn busy. So Life Shakes, I'm a big fan of guys using them at least once a day. Breakfast is to me the easiest option for most people. But leucine is one of the key factors in that, guys. So not as it only good for just people trying to be healthy, but it's also great if you're trying to lose weight, all right? Leucine, remember that. It's an amino acid that is extremely popular and research has shown that it is one of the biggest components for helping with weight loss. So here is the whole program in case you're wondering what it is. And I do encourage you guys, if you want to learn more and look at some of the weight loss studies, I am, um, again, big on research. I have found... I like going in here and reading some of those studies. So I put the link there in case you want to check that out. But this will be the program. If you're wondering, what does it entail? Okay. Ideally, you're going to do two servings a day of your life shakes or meal bars. You have two snacks a day. You fill in with one meal and two snacks. So it's kind of a, a customized program. There's a metabolic boost in there, which I'll show you guys a little bit about that in a second. But it's simple. All right. Here's an example of what a day would look like. And again, I'm not big on saying you have to aim for calorie goals but this teaches you structure. Now, I also tend to add in there between breakfast and lunch, also something with a little protein, because I do feel that nowadays, one of the reasons we're also not losing enough weight is because of the lack of quality protein we're finding today. So I would add a little bit more protein to this if I was to guide you in a, a specific program. But again, I like the fact, guys, that we are finding ways that we can improve our metabolism, we can lose muscle, we can do this guys, by making healthy changes. We talked about a bunch of things to look at, your sleep, hormone disruptors, medications. Are we getting enough activity? Are we eating the right foods? Are we eating too many fast foods? Keep checking in, all right? But if you do like options, guys, this metabolic boost I found to be very safe, okay? This is something that, you know, I have people that use it sometimes. I have people that use it all the time. But it does kind of help, especially if you're noticing 
I kind of feel like a lot of times with hormones that we find energy is one of the things we really find affected. And I have found that the thermogenic blend that's in this really does help with kind of a sustained energy. So I do like the metabolic boost, especially for that, but it also kind of turns on your body's heat mechanism, which then helps you to burn more fat. So that's why it's part of the 180 program. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned it because it's kind of a very unique supplement that a lot of people have never heard of. It's been around a very long time, but it is a great thing to note. So guys, if I was giving you suggestions of things to be looking at, we talked about it, our food intake, chemical exposure, our physical activity. If you want ways to monitor your progress, you know, you can use weight, you can do your measurements, you can do a food log, you can do an activity log, you could check in on your body composition often, but we want to make sure guys, we are looking into a whole picture of health, right? I feel like a broken record because I say this a lot. But I have found, guys, that we have got to look at healthy weight as a lifestyle, all right? I'm not ever going to say that someday down the road, there might not be some great, you know, um, simple solution for people. But at this point, I do believe it's a lot of getting back down to the basics. I really do that. believe that's a part of it. Thanks for sharing, by the way, Sandra. Yes, I absolutely love the Life Shakes, too. But exercise. What is going to be ideal for weight loss? I will tell you guys that I have been teaching fitness classes, a little bit of history, guys. I started teaching when I was 17 years old. It was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. If you guys know a little bit about my health history, my condition, I was very self-conscious. My left side is smaller than my right. It looks like I burnt. I have a lot of, you know, I could have a lot of health complications. I was told I would lose my leg by the time I was 18 to amputation. You know, I have just been given a lot of things that could have pulled my health in a different direction. So I can tell you guys, when I taught my first class, I thought I was going to pass out because I was so nervous standing in front of people that I thought all they were doing is staring at me and that it wouldn't get any benefit or value from my workout. But I've learned, guys, one of the best things that we can get from workouts is the feelings we get from those endorphins. It's not people are watching you. It's the variety of things we can do with our workouts. But it's also, guys, creating a sense of routine. Okay. This isn't, we exercise for two days and then we're done. I'm a big, you know, promoter of making sure we are getting it all flexibility, strength, endurance, balance, cardio. I know actually a couple of you on here um, have trained with me or are current personal training clients. No two workouts are the same. A couple of you do my um, online workouts. None of them are the same because I feel like if we want to help with really getting our goals in check, guys, we need to keep surprising ourselves. You should be sore sometimes. You should feel like you're challenging yourself. And you know what? We all have something with our fitness that's a weak spot. It might be you really struggle. For example, women, it's very common. It's your upper body strength. It could be for some of us, we're getting older. Balance is a big one. So we can't just pick those things we like to do, right? We like to go for walks. That's great. That's good activity, but that's not the same as exercise. We need to keep surprising ourselves. And that's where I find the value in. That's why I started these online virtual workouts that we have over 45 workouts now online geared towards all different levels, all different options. And I want to just make sure I point that out because if you're struggling with where to start with exercise, guys, Virtually is a great idea because you can fit them in anytime, anywhere. It's kind of the focus. So I also put a promotion on here, guys, that 50% off one month. If you want to try it out, it's subscription, $30 a month. So it'd be $15. So just to give you guys some ideas for, you know, options for some other ways of getting some fitness in. All right, guys. So I would love for you guys to screenshot this one because there's a whole bunch of stuff on here. Seven healthy, healthy habits for weight loss. I, I put this together in just kind of, you know, some other things to be, constantly reminding yourself of. You could put this picture up somewhere because I think it's a great one for reminders and just kind of instilling this for helping you with your goals of if it is weight loss, great, but no matter what, it's going to help you become healthier. Okay. And these tips here, you can also see guys, these are things that I really try to practice every day and, and help when I'm really trying to target someone specifically the weight goal, that these are things that we work on. All right. So drink water before meals. It's a great way to help fill yourself up a little bit. Green tea, guys, the antioxidants, the um, catechins that are in there, the things that help create natural fat burning, very helpful. I mentioned try a cleanse, cut back on added sugar, guys. Sugar is 
addicting. It will make your body store fat. We've got to look at how to get out more refined sugar and refined carbs. Okay. They act the same. Okay. They're going to ask glucose. It's going to help your body store fat. Use smaller plates. Sometimes visuals are great. Change your size plates. Believe it or not, it will help you to eat less. Keep healthy snacks available. Take a good probiotic as you want to make sure that gut health and microbiome is also healthy in order to making sure that those systems are connecting well. Exercise, lift weights, eat more fiber. I mentioned this often too, guys. The average American right now gets around 8 to 10 grams. We should be getting at least 25 to 30. If you're following that 180 program, you're getting 15 grams just from using the shakes and the bars, which is a great start. Fruits and vegetables are going to give you the additional fiber, right? So we need to make sure we're eating more fruits and vegetables. We're getting enough sleep, eating more protein. Don't diet, guys. We started out with that tonight, right? And eat more slowly. I wanted to give you guys, if you're into reading, this is a really great book. I just started it. And I totally believe that something we can all do, guys, is continue to educate ourselves. And reading is one way that we can do that, right? And this book is a perfect example of helping to get you in the mindset, because sometimes this is a big part of weight loss, changing how our minds thinks. We have to get into new habits. And this Atomic Habits is all about 1% change a day and making habits become your life. And again, if you're looking for a book to read, guys, if you haven't read that, I encourage you to, to check it out. And I also wanted to mention, guys, if you're looking for some more quick, healthy options, we do these freezer smooth, smoothie meal workshops. We've done these almost monthly for over five years now, and we have them coming up this Sunday. So I wanted to just mention this because it is a great way to have those leucine packed shakes that you can have in your freezer to give you some variety and give you some really... Um, I think ways to create more consistency because it tastes good and it gives you something fun versus getting bored and you always do the same thing every day. So I wanted to make sure I highlight that. So feel free to RSVP guys, if you'd like to join us this Sunday. And other thing I wanted to mention here really fast guys with Shackley that I didn't want to forget to neglect here is that for the month of January, there's a great promotion. Some of you guys are already you know members. Some of you guys are ambassadors, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned this. And yes, somebody just said that uh, pink peppermint sounds interesting. Interesting. It is. It's a really fun one. Every month we do new recipes. So always trying to mix things up. But, you know, one of the things that we can offer guys is sharing this with others. If you are on a health journey, I don't care what it is, weight loss, part of it, that when you share with others, you can get rewarded for it. And that's what we do with Shackley. And right now you can become an ambassador for free. You could do it just as a way to get money back for products or helping to possibly earn some income. But you can also get a free product on top of the free business startup kit right now, becoming an ambassador and double commissions for January and February. So again, want to just make sure I mention that guys, because it is a great time for health and wellness. So feel free to reach out. You guys want more information. And positive choices, guys. What are you going to start doing today? I posted this one actually on social media today because I really love the one on the right talking about the choices you make every day. This is what I want you guys to be thinking about. Some of the things, uh, again, you might be like, I don't even know where to start, guys. You got to start with something. Pick one thing, all right? Can't blame everything or on you know other things take responsibility. That's what I want you to really keep reminding yourself of, guys. We are ultimately in charge of every decision and every choice that we make. And we also on the left there, I really like this picture and quote, there's absolutely no reason why you should adopt the limitations someone else may place upon your life. Guys, you are in charge. And that is something that I feel when people are on their weight loss journey that oftentimes they forget to take control and they forget about that. The past comes into place. They've got people that are negative around them. You've got to take it on yourselves to make these changes. All right, guys, I'm going to open it up for questions and answers, but I'm actually going to stop the recording before I do that. So hang on here one second.